Hey guys, welcome back to the table. Quick update on the Phantom, as I said I would. Um, been messing about this for a couple of nights now. It's not going to be an absolute spectacularly perfect scale model. Um, it's just literally going to be a light hand launcher, so I'm just sort of keeping it all as basic as I can. Um, now we did base this on the little 64 um, Starmax F4 that I've got. I'm actually just going to pass that over. So yeah, you've all seen the little 64. This came out quite nicely in the RAF scheme, so I thought I'd do the, the, the big Phantom in the RAF scheme. Um, another drive to this was uh, my father had a ride in one of these, I think in the sort of mid to late 80s when they were in service. Um, I believe uh, flew through the Mac Loop in one um, and had a bit of um, air to air training combat with a, uh, with a pair of GR3 Harriers. Um, so that was a nice little thing. So this will be going in the same, uh, in the same markings as what the one that he had a, a ride in. Oh, I'll take that over there, Bess. Out. Well done. Right, so we're going to again be running this on a on the current 80 mil FMS 12 bladed fan. Hopefully, should be enough power. I'm going to go 6s on this. Um, got 100 amp PSC on the way, um, which is sort of about borderline for for this. I was now considering retracks. Uh, but there's a bit of messing about cutting all the tunnels and things for the wires and stuff like that and then it's adding extra weight and it's a lot more pressure on the 80 mil fan so <sighs> I'm going to keep it hand launcher I'm going to keep it hand launcher and we'll just make sure when it's made and we launch it off of the hill so there's plenty of uh, air space to recover any uh, anything that's not right so we've gone for um, we've gone for the RAF scheme um, the colours I've used is just literally the basic Tamiya recommended RF paint, which is, um, I can't remember what the XF codes are, but it's RF Dark Green 2 and RF Ocean Grey 2. These are the standard upper camos from sort of 1946, 1947 I think, upwards to sort of 1989, 1990 maybe, and then they changed a lot of the schemes to the, the sort of sky grey schemes with the red or blue fins, the same as they did with the lightnings. So we're sort of going late 70s, 80s sort of era with this. Still a bit to be done on it. Um, I've got to cut the, uh, I've got to cut the pocket still for the Adrian servos, which will be going in the top of the wing. So the control rods run above, um, as advised by uh, Alan. Thanks, Alan, the guy that's responsible for uh, the model. Um, so we're going to put the control rods on the top, horns on the top, servo horns on the top to avoid ripping them off on belly landings. Um, with the little Phantom, the servos are underneath and they do skip when you belly land it. So. But yeah, we've got the electrics for it anyway to go in it. Just got to mess about putting them in it. Um, ah, refueling probe. Done a little gimmicky refueling probe. You've probably all seen it. Like a klutz, I've managed to chip the front edge of the door off on it. So I've got to do just a little repair on that. Um, got to clean up the, uh, the mechanism a bit. It's a bit stuttery at the moment where I've painted a bit. Just plug this in, show you where we are part with it. Okay. mess about clean it up a little bit just so everything fits nicely I say it's only literally a gimmick 
it's not supposed to be a hundred percent scale. The jutter in, the, the in there is just where the slider's gripping on a bit of paint, that's all that is. So I just thought that'd be a nice little, little look on a pass with the probe open. And I like messing about and putting little gimmicky things on the models anyway. Um, still considering an arrestor hook for the rear. Um, wire that up to another switch might do that before the main do. Um so yeah we're pretty much there now with the with the paint I've got to do a little bit on the underside like this got to do a little tiny bit on the underside just to clean it up like I say it's not going to be a super scale job it is literally going to be for a fun hand launch up for car evenings it's a big silhouette um so we're just going to match it up to the 80 mil and hopefully we, we should have enough power to, uh, to at least throw it around a little bit. Um, I know the 80 mil that I've got here, the 80 mil, uh, I think it's an Avanti fan, um, they make a really, really nice noise, like a noise like no other EDF. Um, I can't remember where it was I was watching the other day, but it was described as um, basically a screaming banshee sound of it when it's flat out, so they do make a nice noise. Um, Another little thing to do, we've got to make some nozzles now, obviously this is an old model, it's been knocked about a little bit, we've done a lot of repair work on it, on the uh, trailing edges, the whole, the whole edge of the um, kit here was missing completely, it all been crushed in and broken, um, the trailing edge was all completely damaged, there was big dents and chips missing out of it, we've just cut and joined a bit of foam into there, again it's not perfect, it's just to straighten it out made a whole new um, wing tip there, shape tip. Um, so yeah, we're on our way really, and I'm going to try and get the fan installed maybe tomorrow, um, get all of the servos in, control rods, um, and then all we need is the ESC. So there we go guys, that's the Flyfly Fly F4 Phantom. In the RAF scheme. Um, hopefully, the next time you see it, it should be running up with the fan or at least on the main end. Okay, guys, um, again, shout out to Dave's RC. And a uh, quick shout out to Skip, Sean Brady, Kev, um, Will Nate. I'm just trying to think who else. Um, but yeah, sorry. There's loads and loads I've missed there, but a couple of quick shout outs to, to my um my my common commenters. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on this. Uh, um Bruce, I know you commented on this. Obviously you've got your EDO fan um so there you go. I have rushed it a little bit for you, Bruce, just to, to get another quick video. I, I know you said that you was um looking forward to seeing it. Seeing it sort of all done in its game and um, Sean did. So there you go guys, I'll stop babbling on, the time's getting on in the evening, I've had a glass of wine, I won't stop talking otherwise, okay. Um, at the moment we've got a little standing camera lady, do you want to come around here? Can I stand around this side? This is our new little camera helper, say hello to everyone, this is Bessie, right. You want to go and switch the camera off for me? Yeah. Right, well, there you go, guys. I'll just make my way back around there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, let us know what you think. Stick a comment down or any direction you want us to go in or any suggestions or anything. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.